Welcome to the Health Zone. My name is Dr. Toju Chikiobi, but everybody calls me Dr. Toju. I am so excited about this season's Health Zone. We have terrific things that we will all be learning about together. We'll be learning about fitness and healthy nutrition. We'll be learning how to not be overweight. We'll be learning about hypertension and stroke, breast cancer, prostate cancer, infertility, stress management. You know, we all need that right now. Care of the newborn, maternal health, children's health. There's so much we'll be learning this season. So you don't ever want to miss a single episode of The Health Zone for the next few months. Today, we will be talking about Lassa fever. And you know, we've had a problem lately with Lassa fever. We have a special guest with us on today's show. He is the head of the new Nigerian Centers for Diseases Control. So he knows everything that there is to know about Lassa fever in this country right now. So please, you do not want to miss this episode. Let's learn how we can protect ourselves from Lassa fever. Welcome to the Health Zone. I am so excited that this is the first show of this season. We have a terrific show lined up for you. We have Dr. Chikwe Ihekwazu here, who will be talking to us about Lassa fever and other viral hemorrhagic fevers. I know you guys know that Lassa fever has been going around, and so we really do need to learn about it and learn how we can protect ourselves from it. Dr. Chikwe Ihekwazu is an amazing epidemiologist, and what that means is that he is the doctor who kind of checks out all the diseases, where are they cropping up, how many are cropping up, how do we monitor it, how do we stop it. That's his job. And because he's so good at his job, he was just appointed as the head of the new Nigerian Center for Disease Control. Prior to this new role of his, he used to be the CEO of Nigeria Health Watch and Epi Africa. We are so excited to have him here with us. Dr. Chikwe, welcome to the Health Zone. Thanks a lot, Toji. Thanks for having me on your show. It is a pleasure. I can't wait to get into this discussion with you. But before we do get, you know, get into the meat of the talk, we have a tradition here on the okay. Health Zone. We usually go out on the street to find out what the average man and woman know about whatever it is we're about to talk about. So we're going to do that now. We're going to watch a video and see what they know about Lassa okay. fever. So let's watch the video. Do you know what Lassa fever is? Lassa fever, based on what I've read, is an illness that you get from, from rats. Okay. Uh, the symptoms similar to malaria and all those kind of things, but gradually you go either from incubation to full-blown manifestation, which involves vomiting, diarrhea, and stooling, and that is why it kills faster. So do you think that there are any things that we can do to prevent Lassa fever? Sanitizers, you, um, cleaning your, your environment, and one of the basic things is rats live with us in our house, so <laughs> some of us. <laughs> so, for instance, if you wash a plate and you put it in a plate rack, you know, you've cleaned your kitchen, you finish washing, and then you put the plates in the plate rack, and then you maybe go to the room to do something, and then you get hungry, so you want to pick up a plate to dish your food. You need to rinse that plate again, because the few minutes that you were gone, a rat could have stepped on that plate, or could have peed on it, or, you know, could have basically done anything on it. So you're just picking up the plate from the rack and just putting your food and and you know, eating is very dangerous and you know, you could get Lassa fever. Mm -hmm. 